and MGTOW. MGTOW. There's a MGTOW. Let's go ahead and keep it real. You feel me? I'm back on here with this new video. I'm talking about a man's inner alpha. And this is something that must be built in within you. You can implement it, but you have to really embrace this shit. Because if you don't have an inner alpha, women will run all over your ass. Whether you married to her, a lot of men, I swear, don't think that their wife is running over their ass. They think because they go to work and she clean and cook and, and give them some pussy at night and all that other bullshit, that their house is happy. No, it's not. She's merely doing what you expect her to do as a wife. She's not doing this shit because she wants to. Half these women that I meet that's married are goddamn depressed from being in a marriage. Because they it look good on paper. Let me give you this free game. See, women want to walk down the aisle with a dress on and get the ring. But they're not mentally and emotionally ready for the long-term shit. Alright? You ask any woman do she want the same dick in her pussy for the rest of her life. I guarantee you they look at you like... You won't get a quick response, is what I'm saying. All right? And if women be real with themselves, then they will leave comments on this goddamn video. Now, when they hit the wall, MGTOW talk, in they fucking 35, 45, 55 range, when nobody don't want their motherfucking ass, when the guys their age is trying to get the younger girls, then they want a goddamn, uh, they want a man now. They, they want to settle down. It's no longer about the man looks anymore. None of that shit matters now. You feel me? They just want a man to be there. Oh, be faithful to me. Don't cheat on me. Don't lie to me. Be here with me now. Watch Jeopardy and shit with me. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Forget I said all that. Let's get back to this video. A man in an alpha is what I'm saying. When you have that inner alpha, it's fucking present in you. Women notice it. That's why I keep telling men, women put you in a category immediately when they meet you. If you walking up to women and you trying to get their name and number and all that bullshit, she's giving you her name and her number and all that fuck shit, but she's also putting you in a category of how you present yourself, how you come off as being. If you are that dominant, strong-minded, powerful, dynamic, characteristic-ass man, that's how she's going to treat you. As that dominant, that power man. And she's going to respect you like such. She's not going to call you and ask you to do fuck shit because she recognized your inner alpha. It's coming out in you. You don't have to say shit. Your body language, your tonality, and your voice, how you present yourself, it all comes out. And a lot of men fail with this shit. They go around and saying they got that alpha shit, that bad boy shit. They with this MGTOW shit, but they, they constantly doing that simp, beta male shit. Coming up short with women. Always wondering why the women haven't called them back kind of shit. Wondering why women flake on dates kind of shit. See, the inner alpha and the real true alpha male... That's gone MGTOW, and in my talk, I said the MGTOW data because I am MGTOW data, MGTOW player. That's my shit, all right? And what I mean by that is you understand the MGTOW, all right? I'm personally not looking for a new walk or a wife. I don't want that bullshit, all right? But however, I'm not a MGTOW monk who don't date women, don't care to be with women at all, period. I'm not them. I would never be there, damn. I do love women and I love pussy. However, I got the common sense to understand that in this time, with the system as it is for the daddy government to roll the red carpet out for Shanika Lacup, then no, I'm not going to put myself in that scenario where I'm fucking her raw, getting her pregnant. And I'm sitting here arguing and fussing and fighting with this motherfucker because my inner alpha was weak as fuck when I met this motherfucking female. When my inner alpha is strong, women receive that shit. They know I can't fuck with him. I can't do nothing with him. I got to come through like a grown woman when I deal with him. They know this shit. And that's what I'm trying to teach men. See, men, they, they fuck up because they thinking women, they got to prove themselves to a woman. You ain't got to prove shit. 
And this video is kind of off turn MGTOW because I know MGTOW is keep telling men don't fuck with women, period. Well, I come back with the MGTOW data and player saying, nigga, don't fuck with women, but don't get fucked by women. Is what I'm saying. It's okay to get you some pussy. It's okay to go out and date and have fun with a woman. I ain't saying don't, you know, come on now. Shit. But what I'm saying is, don't get played here. And let me pause here. Because in this politically correct climate, all right, back to my video. Damn. But what I'm saying is, when your inner alpha is present, you know who you are as a man. And you can be true with your inner self. It's effortless when you meet women, if you are out there dating women, all right? It's effortless. You do not have to sit here, oh man, I don't want to talk to her because she's going to try to use me and play me. You, that's the last thing on your mind. Because you got that inner alpha. You are an alpha male and you know exactly what your step should be. You should be to look at that woman and say, okay, I already know this type of woman right here. And yeah, I can look at it and tell she that type B, type A, whatever. And you should know what your move is to get what you want, whatever the hell you want from her, and go on about your business, all right? All right, all right. But when a man doesn't have that inner alpha, and I apologize for that video noise, let's move forward, then all hell breaks loose. You get into these relationships with these women, they see that maybe when y'all was dating, when you first met her, or when you first got married to her, or baby mom, whatever your scenario was, all right, damn. And y'all was in that long relationship and you came off initially as being that bad boy. You were charismatic, charming. You had a genocide quiet about yourself. All that good shit. Women was noticing you. And you know when women notice other women noticing you. You know y'all haven't heard this shit because I don't heard it many times. When a girl's, oh, I seen all them girls looking at you at the mall. I seen all them girls. You know what I'm saying? So we know women noticed other women when they're looking at you. And here's a side to that. We know women only want a man that other women want. Free game. All right? So we know that. So in your inner alpha, the only thing that you should be striving to do as far as women is being that man that's in desire. All right? You should be one to be desired by women. There's nothing wrong with that. Making sure your health is good, your finance is good, your credit is good, you got your roof over your head, a good car, good career, not a job, nigga, a good career. All right? Damn. And you doing it the way you want to do it, not society's version. You're not waking up miserable. Oh, damn, this bitch again. Oh, damn. You're not doing that fuck shit because you living with your inner alpha present at all times. And I guarantee you, women will notice the shit. And I had a woman. She tried me with a shit test. Now, she seen me on social media, and this is part of my new series of videos coming up, Case Study. Now, for which this bitch is. Because I don't fuck her. The only thing for me to do was free her ass on the social media platform so she can watch what the fuck I do. For which I know she's going to do it again. Hence, Case Study. So, this bitch is my case study. She's seen what the fuck I do. She hit me up. Oh, I seen your uh, videos on Pornhub. Oh, you did. Did you like? It, obviously, she liked my shit because she told me damn near every intricate detail of my fucking video. How I was beating the bitch pussy up and all that shit. I said, okay. So, what's up? But see, here's the, the, the backstory on that. See, she told me all this song and dance and shit about how I'm going to fuck her again and get with her again. Okay. With my inner alpha present and on with this nicked out mindset and shield, I give two fucks. Bitch, I don't fuck you. You a case study to me now. I give some fucks. But here's the kicker to that though. The bitch called me, told me about my motherfucking videos on Pornhub that obviously she been masturbating to, horny ass motherfucker. And then she called me with this shit telling me about my videos and about the women that I'm fucking. Bitch, I fuck them hoes with a condom on, fuck them and send them on their way. Alright? That's it. She calls me telling me about my shit. So I said, what are you calling me for? Because I know you're not calling me out of the blue to talk about my fucking videos for which you say you ain't want to be a part of and you don't do. So is you trying to make some things happen or what? Because of number one, I'm not going to small talk you on this motherfucking phone about bullshit. Number two, 
what the fuck you calling me for? All right? Because we already fucked. And you know what I bring to the table, bitch. I'm that drink, smoke, fuck nigga. That's who I am. I'm the lover that come over and fuck you while your kid's at school. That's who I am. I'm not your provider. All right? Long story short, and I hope that story went long, I ended up fucking this bitch because she goddamn was turned on about that I was fucking these other women. All right? High status because I'm on Pornhub and a lot of people seeing my videos and even comments. So she liked that high status. She had memories of me fucking her pussy and the videos of the bitches that I was fucking and mourning and growing and shit. She's like, damn, I want to get back again. Again. I end up fucking this bitch, bring her up to my career, and being that pussy up, and again, doing videos, all right? You feel me, right? Again, a case study. And what I'm telling men with that story right there, when you have your inner alpha present, women, they're going to shit test you, and the reason why they shit test you is they want to make sure it's authentic. It has to be built in you. I don't give a fuck how many women you fuck with. Your inner alpha has to be solid. Because bitches is going to shit test you on every fucking thing. Because they know they got weak men out here. All these men show up in their life. They get hit on every day, all day. So they're looking for that weak man that they can use for their offsprings to pay bills, to do this. They need that guy. But for that alpha male, that they cannot fuck with. And they know that guy. They know the guy that just not going to deal with they fuck shit. Either you're going to do what he say or the highway. You feel? Just that goddamn simple. It really is, man. Alright? And what I'm saying is, men have to develop their inner alpha when you're out here dealing with women. You got to have your inner alpha at all times. Dealing with your baby mama and her bullshit. Dealing with your ex-wife and her bullshit. Dealing with your wife, damn it. Because your wife going to test you too. But see, a lot of men be blinded because they in a marriage and they think that's how it's supposed to go. Y'all better develop that goddamn inner alpha and check your goddamn wife, man. Because see, while you at work, your wife is goddamn cheating and creeping. I guarantee you. Uh, it's, mm, yeah. <laughs> it's real now. It's real, man. But one thing that pissed me off about women is when they do these goddamn shit tests and then they act like when you play their ass or reverse their shit test to them, then they get mad and shit. That's the funny shit to me. <laughs> Cause women is gonna test you. They're gonna see how far they can go, all right, and see how much they can get away with. And then you have that goddamn stump, bitch. That's it. I'm we're gonna go this far with me and that's it. All right? I don't know what you do with them other dudes. I don't give a fuck about what the mother dudes and you do. That's y'all business. But when you call me, it need to be specific reasons. You're going to hang out. You're going to come through. You're going to fuck. What's up? Because I'm not going to waste my time with the small talk, your problems, the nigga that was broken hard at you. I don't, that's not helping me. I got bills to pay. I got shit to do. And listen to your sad ass sob story ain't got shit to do with me. At all, period. All right? And that's not being rude, nigga. That's just a man being real, nigga. You feel me? And when you have that inner alpha always present, women don't even come at you like that. All right? And even when they do, you got them reverse that shit test and let their ass sit right there on the motherfucking sideline and watch what the fuck you doing, balling out of control, having a good time, enjoying your life without their ass and show them, bitch, I do not need you. All right? See, when a man get that inner alpha going, the sky is the motherfucking limit, man. All right? To wrap this video up, man, just two words, man. Just two words, man. You need to develop. Inner Alpha. It's your boy, man. Solo mission.